this morning by the grace of God we'll be looking at a topic when we don't understand when we don't understand Romans 8 28 when we don't understand I read and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. When we don't understand, our Lord message to us is that we must trust Him absolutely and explicitly, explicitly, even when we cannot understand. That in effect, as we have seen. Is what he was saying to John in Matthew 11, 2-6. I am doing the things you have heard reported of me. But then you say, why aren't you doing other things? But if you really believe that I am the Messiah, the Son of God, cannot you leave it, for, leave it to me? Even about this question of your being in prison, and what your friends are saying about about may not be consigned about you John if you know that I am who I am cannot you trust me there in prison itself faith means that I believe on the Lord Jesus absolutely we all have to learn this lesson even Paul had to pass this way he had a thorn in the flesh and he could not understand it. It seems all wrong to him. He wanted to preach the gospel, but the thorn was a hindrance to him. Three times he besought the Lord to remove it. But this was the answer he got My grace is sufficient for thee. And you're not taking us the tongue, said the Lord in Ephesus, but I will do something infinitely bigger. I will bless you with the tongue in your sight. I assure you that even with the tongue, I can do wonders through you. Quite right, says Paul, and I see that when I am weak, then I am strong, and I care about nothing except that I be right with you. The place that God would have us to come is the one in which we can say all things work together for good to them that love God. Romans 8.28 All things. It doesn't matter what I have learned in whatsoever state I am. There is to be content. Philippians 4.11 us to think about this morning. Faith means that I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ absolutely. I pray and the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, that we be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us these days our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, even as we forgive those. Guide us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For now and forever, let your kingdom come, and by the grace of God, our heart, our ways will be ready when it comes in the name of Jesus. Help us to believe and not to doubt. Help us to walk in the right path of faith and not to fake. Help us to, to, be, to be rooted deeply in your word. Help us to rely on you. Help us to make us stronger and great in you. Thank you, Father, for all this and many more I ask through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord bless us abundantly in Jesus' name. Don't forget to follow and listen to my citation tomorrow morning. Please make sure you are sharing this word to other persons, to other people, 
Let them be blessed as well, just as you that is listening is blessed. By the grace of God, I remain Joshua Satoan. Don't forget to join me tomorrow. Once again, stay blessed.